Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today let's uh, try to model this. Okay, so let's start. So first, create a project. And let's go to uh, elevations. So, um, so first we need to have some levels. So I'm going to just model this part. Okay, so um, uh, let me just go to. So okay, so we're going to model this this bit. So I'm just going um, going to use the ground floor level. I'll start from ground floor level. So you can do start from up there, but so let's uh, pretend this is ground floor level, and then. Uh, we'll go up here. So we, we need to first we need to create some uh, levels. So we'll have one level um, and maybe the second one here, three and four and then five and maybe six. So we need, we will need a six level. So um, and each level, let me guess maybe twenty meter. Okay, so turn the one from the first one to the second one, and then I'm just going to copy up three, four, five, six. So it'll be um, six level from here to here, and then we need to um, just let's go to 3D view. So we need to um, because because there, there are no floor plans in this project so I'm not quite sure what the exactly uh, the floor looks like so I'm guessing it's a circle okay so now we're going to just start to model this so we're going to use model in place mass Okay, so click OK and then first set work plan and so let's just uh, set to ground floor and then just reference circle. So I'm going to just draw a circle here and I'm not quite sure about the diameter so um, I guess let's guess 12 meter uh, maybe another no, no. 12 meter, 10 meter, how about 10 meter uh, radius, which is 20 meter diameter. Just guess, okay? So now we have the first one. So so now let's just rotate it to roughly front. So, and when I look at here, and then the, if this is roughly um, 10 meter radius, so I guess this will be about um, about 15 maybe and 30 30 30 15 uh, maybe 9 okay so what I'm going to do is select this one control C and go to go to modify paste align to select level and then select uh, level one shift so select all these levels click ok so now we have all these profiles and then we just need to guess okay so um, so this one's 10 so this one will be uh, let's guess 15 but because if you look at here so it looks like this so it need to be offset so move to the left so it's only this is quite straight and then this is a uh, big slope than that one so um, I'm going to remove this so actually um, you can do it uh, once you create that mass so uh, for now I'll just move it by two meters and then uh, the other one will be 15 uh, maybe let's try 18 and then I'll roughly 
I don't know, maybe move it by five meters. So it will be here, 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 and then similar size. So I use 18 as well. That one, and then the um, we have this one, this one, then go back to the middle and the smaller, maybe 15 again, and this one maybe smaller, maybe 9 meter. Okay, so now select all of them and create form. So now we can um, have a look. So actually, let me just move it to to here. So um, yeah, you can just compare the size of the shape, the size, and roughly. So you can adjust, you can move it, you, you can use the keyboard, so for example like this, and also you can change the size as well. Um, so you can do this, and maybe this can go back a little bit, or maybe this one needs to, uh, to be bigger, oh sorry, 21, and um, so this one maybe need to be 20 and just move back that way this one go there so go there um, maybe, maybe 16 meter so yeah you can just you change the size and change the the, the location so and can get the I think this one needs to go to the right and I think it's close, okay? Um, maybe this one go. Yeah, I think it's quite close now. So now let's uh, so finish this. Oh, actually, hang on. So you will see this this line and this line, which mean are they? Um, which means when you place when we later on place uh, uh, place place wall, place floor, so it will, the wall will break, will break here. So actually in this um, case, we don't want the wall to break, to break here, because if you look, uh, let me just go back to, so you will see this, this, this need to be continued, continues. So the, what we can do is we can just re, re, um, dissolve dissolve this shape. So what we can do is select this circle, rotate by 90 degree. Okay, so this one same, rotate by 90 degree, RO 90 degree, RO 90 degree, RO 90 degree, RO 90 degree. So now let's select them and create a new one. So now you will see this line change okay so um okay so once we have this mass let's finish this mass and then uh we're going to create a level so before we create the levels because currently we only have six of them but if you go back here you will see there are quite a few levels okay so we just need to so create more so we can select all. So currently they are uh, five or oh, twenty meter um, between them. So what I'm going to do is select all these. So one, two, three, four, five. I guess I'll give them maybe four meter edge. So I'm gonna copy CC, go up four meter, another four meter, another four meter, and another four meter. So now we have all these levels, and then we can select this mass and create um, mass floors. So go select the first one, go down, select, select the last one, shift, shift, select the last one, sorry, and check and OK. Okay, so now we have all these uh, mass floors, and then we can 
create a floor, floor by face, and select all these uh, mass floors and then create floor. So you can change to um, different type. So and then click on create floor, and then that's it. That's the floor. So now um, the next. So if you um, because in this case, in this uh, project, so you uh, the walls are looks like the walls are all vertical and all are from le are from level to level. So um, we can we can just create wall and we will use pick line. Okay, so pick line and maybe I'll use uh, a finish exterior and also um, just need to ch use the the level so from so for example start from ground level and so this is uh, level six so usually you will see it you don't need to try to uh, find it's just the one next to it okay so and then you can just pick the floor so you can tap place the floor so you will have, so now we have this floor and then the next one you just need to go down one by one and go down by one and then pick the once again pick the floor so um, it's it's a bit of work to to create all the floor um, not sure about um, maybe you can use dynamo but yeah I'm not very good at it so yeah if it's me I'll just uh, place all these uh, walls by clicking picking all the the floors okay so yeah i think um i will i will stop here so um so once you finish you will, you will have all these walls and then um let's have a look at this one so if you want to create some windows so you can so what i will do is so if i already so for example if i oh, let me just hide this mess for now h h okay so now for example we have all these walls and and the floors right and then if i want if i need to play some window i will i will just control c copy this wall and paste it along to the same place and so now we have an overlapped wall and just go back select the curtain wall i'm going to use this curtain uh, short short uh, storefront and i'll just edit type let's just create a new one okay and then for the new one i'll just check the automatic and uh, embed and click ok and then i'm going to just change the so for example i'll change the seal height maybe 1200 and change the the uh, uh, top constraint so this um i'll just use the same level with uh maybe 24 or maybe three meter uh, so this will be the the head high um actually it's not cutting the wall um that's okay let me just control x and i'll place it uh, along to the same place Hell, something's not right. It's not cutting my wall. Let me just try this. Um, something's not right. Let's have a look. Okay, so it looks like uh, it's probably because because of the so because when we created this wall, its face ex 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 exterior. The finished face we are using lo the location line of this brick wall is exterior. So maybe let's do this. Let's do this. I'll delete this window. Okay, I'll do it again. So select this wall, select this wall, and change this uh, location line to uh, wall center. Okay, now control C and paste into same place and go select this. Uh, okay so now it will automatically cut the wall and then we can just go change this and change this uh, head high to maybe three meter 
okay so and then we have this wall and then you can just drag this to change the size so something like this okay and and that's it um, actually I just noticed that uh, when, we if, when you create these walls you don't need to uh, set the top constraint because it's it's quite you know uh, double the time um, you can just use a uh, unconnected so this way you just need to because all these levels are four meters between them so you can just use uncon um, unconnected so four meter or even uh, minus the floor thickness to and then we only need to change this one so change the the base constraint so and also where you try to place you will see this dash line see this dash line so the dash line will tell you where the base constraint is so if i so see it's, it looks like it, the, it's here okay so now i'm i want to place on this level which means i just need to go up one by one level and then we can tab select in place and level one so the next one will be seven the next one will be 12 so it's easier it's much easier to place all the floors okay so you don't even need dynamo anymore <laughs> because it will only take you maybe two minutes to place all the uh, where's my oh sorry where's where 22 go down 13 yep and go up 8 and go 18 like this and 3 no okay I'll stop here so yeah and then we can just finish that and then we can add more windows so control C paste in same place change it to new give it a maybe I'll just use a on um, level level 21 24 3 maybe 3 meter or maybe 37 um, base 1200 something like that where is it oh sorry I forgot I need to change that change the, the location line. let me select all of them and I'll just change the look all the, the location line to wall center okay so now let's do it again um, we, may, maybe we can do multiple so let's just do this Control C paste in the same place change it to new and I'll change the base offset to 1200 change the top constraint to uh, no because they are all different but yeah uh, let me just finish this okay so oh we can top constraint um, minus 300 so minus the thickness of the, the floor yeah okay. then you can adjust them individually so if you want to you can drag them to adjust them okay so like this um, okay so that's that's it um, yeah I know it's very <laughs> different to this one but yeah just more about some ideas and potentially you um, so if you spend more time you will be uh, you you can you can uh, get this okay so that's it. Um, I'll, if you have no question, please let me know. I'll see you next time.